What's up guys, it's John, and it is time for another Q&A Sunday. That's right, episode 22 of the show where I answer your gun and gear questions from all over social media. It's been a little break. I had to take last week off because I had some prior things that I needed to attend to, but we're back. We are back. Now, the number one thing that people talked about on the previous show, episode 21, was my mom getting cancer. And I know that's kind of a down note to start the show on, but I wanted to address it. Um, first of all, thank you all for the support. I mean, you guys were awesome. There was so much um, outpouring of prayers and thoughts and, and just people giving a shit, and that's pretty cool. Um, the biggest thing to note is that we got the, uh, the you know, thumbs up. We got... The biggest thing to note is that she got the notice that there is no need for continuing treatment. She's good to go. The surgery that she had helped, um, did what it was supposed to do, and she no longer, in this case, has cancer. And that's amazing. So thank you all for the support, guys. You know, it was a quick thing for us. I mean, it was literally less than a month from finding out to having the surgery to now getting the answer and knowing that it's good to go. So, uh, I, you know, thank you guys. That's that's pretty cool. I, I really, I know <laughs> what's funny is my mom read the comments and she was, she was pretty happy about it. You know, you guys have been awesome to me and now her. So, you know, my family really appreciates it for real. Okay, so jumping into the show, our first question this week is from Facebook user Josh Orodnik. I believe I got that right. That was a tough one. And he wanted to know my opinion on AR-15 triggers, you know, standard versus drop-in, uh, single stage versus two stage, CMC versus Geisley. He had a bunch of that going on in there. Now, I'll tell it to you this way. Triggers go with, much like the caliber, what you're trying to accomplish with that gun. If you want a long range gun, you should probably look at a two stage. If you're new to ARs, maybe look at a drop-in trigger, or if you're just lazy like I am, or perhaps have an out-of-spec 80% lower and you need something to correct that trigger group, the 80% was a perfect solution for me. Now, as far as favorite brands, I love Geisley triggers. I really, really dig that CMC. You guys saw that review. If you haven't yet, go check that out. I put it out earlier this week. Um, I haven't really had a chance to try anything like Hyperfire or American Triggers or anything like that. Uh, Elfman is also out there. I haven't had a chance to try those out. Those guys haven't contacted me. I don't have enough time in my schedule right now with all the reviews that I have on the plate to, um, you know, try and stuff them in right now. So that's, you know, maybe next year we'll take a look at those. But right now the CMC and the Geisley are absolutely amazing. Obviously CMC is a drop-in unit, so that gives it a thumbs up. But the Geisley in my book is a tiny, tiny bit of a cleaner break. Uh, both very, very good triggers, and you should look at them both very heavily. I prefer single-stage triggers. That's just my shooting style. So yeah, triggers, awesome. Kind of tailor it with what you're doing. Obviously, price point matters. There's a lot that goes into it, but that's kind of where I stand. Our next question this week is from a YouTuber, but he submitted this on Instagram. It's MattV2099. You guys know and love him for his food versus Glock videos. He just did one that was coffee versus a Glock. I mean, <laughs> this guy's amazing, and I love talking to Matt. He's a lot of fun. His question that I don't think he thought I would answer on here was, I want a gun that gives me plus three to swag and plus one to my street cred stats. Matt, the only way to do that, <laughs> if I can grab it, <laughs> is with one of these. You got to get yourself a Deagle brand Deagle, son. You got to do it, man. <laughs> this is the only way to get your swag up and your street cred. That's why I bought it, right? <laughs> now, our last question this week, I know I didn't have a YouTube question, and that's because 99.9% .9 of it was you guys supporting me and my family, so I didn't grab a question from there. However, the last question this week is from Robert J. Wilcox, and he wanted to know, what is the best AR pistol caliber and barrel length? Now, brother, that is a very, very complicated question. And I'll answer it pretty simply. Get a 10-inch 50 Beowulf. You'll solve all your problems. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. No, it's, it's really dependent on what you're trying to do with that pistol. 
You know, if I'm looking at a CQB round or something like that, I'm probably heavily going to consider Big Boar, 458 SOCOM, 50 Beowulf, um, maybe a 375 Reaper. You know, that's a new cartridge, but uh, I'm hoping to get a short upper for it. So, you know, fingers crossed. But, you know, 556 five, uppers are still very good at the right barrel length. I don't think you want to go past a 10 and a half inch, 11 inch barrel on a 556 five, to get full velocity. However, you know, even 300 Blackout does very well in short barrels. Subsonic 300 Blackout at close range is very devastating with the right ammunition. <clears throat> Lehigh. And guys, um, it really, really depends on what you're doing. That's a super complex question. For me, if I was building a CQB pistol and, and things of that nature, I'd want a 50 Beowulf. But I'm also open to having fun and trying out different, like a 5.56, a Blackout, you know, all those other things that I mentioned. So... That's kind of the answer to that. So that's it for this week's show, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, that helps me out so much. There's been a huge outpouring since that 50 Beowulf versus... Um, there's been a huge outpouring since that 50 Beowulf versus Ballistics Gel video. I really appreciate all of you new subscribers. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Definitely, if you're new to the channel, take a look around. There is a lot of good content. As always, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you soon. Remember, guys, you can support the channel more by going to patreon.com slash I'm with chaos.